Hey, it's Brian and Trisha, and we're at Fort Knox again. This time we're at Fiddler's Green at Saber and Quill. And this is named after the historic poem called Fiddler's Green. And this also used to be the Officers Club. A lot of history here, as she mentioned the historic poem. Um, there's a lot of heritage here as well. This is the one place on post when you go for entertainment value that still feels like the historic days and there's a lot of military memorabilia and a lot of look and feel like you know you're back on post in, in the uh, days gone by you can still be a part of the Stein Club they've got those specialized mugs hanging up there and uh, those are all belong to an individual person so that when they come and enjoy a beverage they can sit here and, and have that in their very own Stein uh, the great thing too is there's still so much entertainment that has stepped into the modern times and there's trivia night every Thursday. Some of them are themed, some of them aren't, but they're Disney, Marvel, I think Star Wars they've had in the past yeah. too. They start at seven o'clock every Thursday. And there's food available, lunch and dinner, and the food looks fabulous. Fort Knox is fun for everyone, and remember every dollar you spend goes back to help soldiers and their families. We are at Fort Knox where it's really fun for everyone and we want to show you the process that it's really easy to get on Fort Knox to come and get a pass and it really doesn't take that long and conveniently. I, uh, I have a pass and I forgot it and I want to go on post today so I have to get a new pass. So I'm going to use the brand new kiosk. It's only been here about a month and I'm going to just literally in real time roll through this and show you how quick and easy it is to get yourself a new pass. So it's asking me am I a citizen of the United States? Do I have a mobile phone? And then it wants me to take my state issued ID and just drop it right in the slot. And while I'm doing this, Trisha's gonna to talk to you a little bit more. The visitors to Fort Knox will get one free round of golf, excluding the cart when you present your visitor's pass at Lindsay Golf Course. But that's only good on the day that your visitor's pass was granted. So that's just an added bonus. So this process is really easy. So it wants me to remove my glasses or if I had a hat on, and it instructs me to not smile as it takes my photo. And it's gonna look for articulation points on my face, uh, facial recognition software to match my ID. And now it wants me to take my photo. And it's gonna count backwards from three. Okay, it's taking my photo. Now it's gonna verify that that photo matches my ID, and then it'll be spitting out this pass in just a couple of seconds. And there's my pass. That's how long it took me to get authorization to enter Fort Knox. It really is fun for everyone, and it's easy too.